Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year, happy 2024. I have an awesome video today that we're going to do together for the very first time. So there is a thing on the internet that says uh, a borax solution will make your laser engraves darker and more prominent than if you did not use it. So we're gonna test that theory out today. Now, I did do this one time before, but the only thing is it was on a set of coasters that I think had a, a coating on it that I don't believe that the, um, the borax liquid absorbed into the wood. I don't think it really, really even did anything. So what I did today was I purchased four different types of woods that we're gonna do this test on. I'm really excited to see what happens. I hope that it does better because supposedly when you put borax uh, solution on the boards, you let it dry, it really makes a huge difference in your laser engraving. Today, what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using the Creality Falcon Pro over here. We're going to use that. We're going to do kind of a half solution. I'm basically going to sacrifice these four pieces to see how this works. So let me show you what I purchased and how it's going to go. Here we go. So to do this, you're going to need a couple things. Borax powder. I bought this on Amazon and it was only $8.99. It's like 16, yeah, 16 ounces, one pound. To make the solution, you're going to need one teaspoon for every half a cup of water. So two teaspoons would be one cup of water and four teaspoons to two cups of water. The other thing you're gonna need is some sponge brushes. This is what you're gonna use to apply the solution onto your boards. Sponge brushes seems to be the best because they'll soak up the water really well. Last thing you're gonna need is a container. I already have some mixed up and I've had this for a while. Like I said, I did that one project, which I don't think it really did a whole lot. It's been in my workshop for about a week and a half because I did a Christmas present with it and it's got some crystallizing at the bottom. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or what that is, but if you see right there, it's uh, already crystallized. So I don't think that's gonna make a big difference. I think a lot of it already diluted in the water. I shook this up, so I think it's gonna be okay. The last thing you're gonna need, obviously, is your boards. So let me show you the reason why I'm actually doing this. If you look at this one that I did a video on before, check out the wording on here. Bon Appetit. Uh, it has this, this particular wood has this dark green and then a light green and then a dark green and then another light green. And what it does is it seems to, if you look right here, it's this light green for some reason seems to not have engraved or really done a good job. It's really, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can see right here, right here, here. It, it's just really light. So some of these other points though, they did a really good job at burning but then again, not so good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the back side of this board right here. Now I think this has a coating on it. I'm not too sure. So what I might do is I might actually do a light sanding on this side. Let me show you something. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piece of tape right down the center and I'm going to only apply the solution right here on only half of each piece of wood, on different kinds of woods. We're not gonna just do it on one, we're gonna do it on four. The next one we're gonna do, this is a, a light oak uh, piece of wood. Half of this will go ahead and have the solution on it, the other half will not. Next, we got this piece of birch that I got from, it's just birch ply that I got from Hobby Lobby. Put a piece of tape down the middle, half of it's gonna have the solution, half of it is not. And the last thing we're gonna go ahead and do and burn is this, from the Dollar Tree. This is a $5 bamboo cutting board and I've done these as well. And you could tell that when you burn these, they have a light and a dark spot. So hopefully this will um, absorb that solution and take it and make it a lot darker. We're gonna apply our solution. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit, do some laser engraving. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and compare all four pieces and we'll see how it did. All right, here we go.
So I got a little bit of a wet sponge here and you can see this is the one that I did before that is really light. And I'm gonna do a little test and I'm gonna show you real quick why I don't think this made much of a difference. You could see right here that uh, the water is beating up. It's not absorbing into the piece of wood. When you get them from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something like that, these are gonna have already a seal on them that's going to protect the wood because they're pretty much a cutting board that you could use right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put a light sanding on the opposite side. I'm gonna do it on this side right here. We're gonna do a light sanding and see if that makes a difference. Here we go. out how dark this piece of board is on this side. Now watch what happens when I flip it over. Look at the difference. I don't, that kind of scares me that, I don't know if that's like a stain. I can't believe that they would put that much of a sealer to change that difference of a color, but check that out. I mean, it's super pretty, but you could see the different colors of this wood right here. And that's what prevents that lightning and darkening of the laser engraving. So this is crazy. Anytime I actually do these, I might sand these anyways, all the way through and through, because I really do like that light uh, coloration opposed to that really dark. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put some of that solution onto uh, the Borax solution onto this and see what happens. Here we go. All right guys, we got all of the lasering done. We got all four boards done. It is extremely cold in my workshop right now. I think it's about 40 down here. I don't have any heat. I can see my own breath. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's go ahead and get with the results. I'm actually kind of surprised about the way these things turned out. I was kind of hoping for 
honestly a little bit better result. I'm kind of, I have a mixed emotion. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the results. Here we go. So the first piece I'm gonna show you really did not have very much of a change. Very subtle changes in the result was this piece right here. This side was the side with the borax and this side was without. It is a little bit darker. You can see that this did do a little bit darker of a burn but really there's not much difference. Yeah, so that's this one here. This is this cutting board. Now I will say this, I'm sure there are different ratios of solutions that you can do. You can probably do tablespoon per half a cup or more. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save these pieces of wood and I'm just gonna use tests and do tests on them. Uh, what I might do is do some like YouTube shorts with some different ratios. The other thing is too, before we go any further, the solution that I had, I don't know if you noticed that crystallization. I don't know if that had, any, had anything to do with it. Maybe it needed to be a fresh batch. Maybe you can't let this sit in your workshop or anything like that for a long period of time because maybe it crystallizes and it doesn't it's not as potent. I don't know. So I'm going to try it again. Maybe do some couple YouTube shorts here and there that we'll post onto the channel. So stay tuned for that. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. That way you can get uh, all these results at a later time. So there's that one right there. The next one is the bamboo. Keep knocking everything over. And to be honest with you, it really didn't make any difference. Again, I think this is a little bit darker. And But if you look right here at the top, that different... A piece of wood because you could see right here there's a line right there it didn't do any difference it's it's super super light so I don't think it made a difference with the bamboo not overly impressed you can see right here that it is a little bit of a darker C than the T and the C here but I think that has everything to do with the wood put a comment down below if you think I should try different ratios again but yeah, so there's that one. This piece here that I have, this one really made a difference. This is the birch and check this out. Look at, this is the halfway point right here. Check how much darker this is compared to this. So yes, it has worked, it did work. And I will tell you this, the lines of the tools, the hammer, the wrench, and just this part of the saw the lines are super defined. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, but the lines are really, really crisp and sharp, and it made a huge difference on this birch. The only thing is, I think it picked up the glue. All these little dots in that wood grain, it picked it up, but it definitely is darker. So it worked, it is a thing. It actually picked it up on the birch. Super happy about that, but there's a ton of little dots. Not sure what those are. And the last piece that we have is the cutting board. Now, I will tell you this, I think it made a huge difference from sanding down the cutting board. So here's the side that I didn't sand down that I laser engraved. You can see it right here. It is really nice, but here on this side, it's a little bit more even. The only thing is these white areas, again, it's not dark. And to be honest with you, the only thing that I noticed that the solution did was it made the lines more defined like the edges of everything is very very defined we're over here it's almost like fuzzy in a way it still might be worth doing the solution on something like this even though it didn't really make this any darker i was kind of expecting like an even black all the way around just didn't happen so i think that could be again with the solution ratio that i did so what i might do with this one is i might try to plane this board down sand it down really good and start from scratch with a higher solution ratio and go from there. I'll put a result in uh, a YouTube short or something along that line. Long story short, I'm kind of mixed on the results. I was really hoping for a much darker burn, but for some reason, the best part was the definition of the lines. Like over this side is all kind of blurry and fuzzy and it's kind of hard to catch on camera, but over here, the lines on the forks and the hat and everything is super crisp. I really like that. So it kind of is good, but I was kind of hoping for just a dark black burn. Again, I'll try some different things later. I think it's worth it. You know, I'll put a link in the description below for this Borax on Amazon. It is my Amazon affiliate link. I do get some kickback on that. So if you do decide to purchase, I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I'll put a link down below. Super cheap. Honestly, it's kind of worth it. You can't go wrong. The one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your piece of wood that you're engraving is extremely 
dry at the end. You don't want it to have it. You don't want it to be wet. Uh, don't forget to wear your safety goggles and don't forget number one, never leave your laser alone while you're lasering. Again, thanks for watching. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, put a comment below, tell me what you think. Should I try some different things? If you have other ideas for me, definitely put the comment below. I will reply back to all of my comments. So if you say something to me, I definitely will reply back to you. Uh, thanks to Creality for sending me this awesome laser. If you're interested, I do have a video on the unboxing and setting up on this. It is actually a really awesome, nice laser. It has a lot of great features that uh, you could check on the video that maybe I'll post somewhere up over here. So, all right guys, until that next video, make sure y'all do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.